Uh, we got here this morning uh, about a quarter to five. We're at the Kansas Speedway. We started seeing patients in triage uh, around 6.15. present we have approximately 20% of the dentists in the state of Kansas here in the Speedway giving their care. There were a group of nuns that wanted to do a project in the coal fields of Virginia, an area called Wise Virginia, and they appealed to the Virginia Dental Association to help them. And so through the joint efforts of the Virginia Dental Association and, and that group of nuns, the Mission of Mercy project was born. I heard about the project and I thought that's something we could do in Kansas. Dr. Jeff Stosh from Garden City and I, I recruited Jeff, we went to Virginia, we worked the project, saw tremendous value, and came back and said this is something that Kansas needs to do. We knew this was something we wanted to do, and we did our first project in February in Garden City. We had uh, 1,734 patients, $554,000 in free dentistry was provided by Oh, roughly 81 dentists and 400 total volunteers, and we've uh, we've continued that here in Kansas City, and have a total of 900 volunteers here, 200 dentists, 180 dental assistants, 120 dental hygienists. It's just been an incredible, uh, incredible growth of this program. We had our first people here at 9:15 last night. They slept out in their cars at the entrance. It's a, it's 100 degrees here today, and it's really hot. But out in Garden City, the end of February, we had eight inches of snow, and people were there bus loads, and even waited overnight on a bus. I know there's a need. I can't always help them in my office, so this is a good way to go about doing it. They're here because they need the other necessities of life and cannot afford to have care. I mean, if you look around, you're not seeing people pull up in fancy cars, okay? These are not people, a lot of these people don't even have jobs. There's people all around here that, uh, that are in, in desperate need of dental care. I think you see that uh, just walking down the, the rows of chairs behind me here. We're finding the people that are coming through um, have no other means of getting dental care. They don't have insurance, they can't afford it, and that's why they're here. They have no other alternatives. Maybe they're out of work, don't have insurance, so it allows them the opportunity to come out and get a little service done, get them out of pain. The patients that we're seeing here are not coming out of dental offices. They have no access to care whatsoever, and there's not a lot of people that are going to get up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning to stand in line to sit in the hot sun to possibly be seen at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That speaks to the need when someone will spend that much time. There are people that we treat that don't just have poverty of money. Some of these folks have poverty of spirit. They have poverty of future and poverty of hope. And those folks deserve this project. And I think in some small way, it may uh, increase their self-esteem, certainly their, their feelings of well-being. And, and we all know it's important as human beings to feel healthy and to have a sense of well-being. And if we're able to give them just a little bit of that, I think it's a wonderful thing that we can do. And I think they feel that. And I, think, and I, I know they're appreciative. We all know the need is out there, but sometimes you don't grasp how large it is until you see something like this. We started treating patients at 7 o'clock. It's now 12 noon, and my initial reports were we were treating 150 patients an hour. The greatest gift we can give as one human to another is just to do something out of the goodness of our heart with, with really no intent to receive anything back. I think as human beings, and certainly as health professionals, and in this instance dentists and dental professionals, I really believe that, that we are all motivated by that. That's what got us here in the first place. We are here making a big difference in people's lives. When you see the spirit that comes out of one of these projects, you make some great friends within your profession. You get to help a lot of people. You come here to give and you walk away feeling like you received more than you gave. 
It's been very rewarding. I was not at the garden study one. I only heard all the stories from everyone in my staff. Um, but it's really meant a lot to me. I think um, setting up for it, I really had no idea what it was going to be like. Someone once said to me that the reason that human beings are on this earth is to serve each other. I think that's true. And I think everyone here thinks that's true. I did not expect it to be this big of a deal. And I think the turnout's outstanding. And it does. It gives you a great feeling of camaraderie and, you know, that we're doing a good thing. And I think it will bring the dental profession closer together. But it's really brought the profession itself together. Dentists, dental hygienists, dental assistants all working together uh, to help those in need and, and to really give back to the community. Monies for these projects are all private donations. There's no, there's no uh, state funds whatsoever. And so each one of these projects runs somewhere between seventy to ninety thousand dollars in cost. For that money, we generate anywhere between five hundred to eight hundred thousand dollars worth of care. When we flipped the switch on the project in Garden City, we had four people that had ever worked at a project. At this project, we probably have eighty veterans that have worked a project, so they knew what to bring, they knew what to do, and they knew how to do it. So every time we do one of these, the pool of experienced help goes up. Everybody comes together and they, we all help each other out. And seeing how much they appreciate it makes it even better. It's, what can I do? What do you need? People, you know, dentists bringing equipment from their offices to lend. We are committed to this project. We are going to keep this project going. It isn't going away. This program will continue. Our plan is two a year and indefinitely, and we have have already put together quite a commitment with the infrastructure to, to see that it does continue. This isn't a, a one-time deal for us. We're looking outward for other states in this area because any state that comes on board buys a little bit of equipment and then they get a borrow from their neighbors. So it's a win-win situation again. It's a multiplying effect. Every state that comes on board gets the help from the states around it. This morning, as a matter of fact, we had representatives, dental leaders uh, from 11 states that were here that we toured uh, through the facility so they could see what we were doing with the thought that we could expand this not just in Kansas but, but nationwide. They all seem very, very appreciative, very thankful that we're all doing this. Um, I've even had a couple of the men ask if they could come back on Sunday and help tear things down. And I think it's fabulous. I've been laid off and my daughter had five fillings and I just really didn't, without dental insurance, just didn't really have a way to take care of it, so I was pretty excited. I think it means a lot to them. We've had a lot of thank yous. It's a very worthwhile project. Um, the turnout you will find to be outstanding. People really appreciate it um, and it gives you a really great feeling to be doing it. You know, here's the community that we all dream about and think about and hope for. Here's where the spirit and the soul of this great country resides. We really need to renew a commitment to service in this state with each other, with our own communities. This is going to spread around the Midwest and around the country because it's so good for the people you serve and it's so good for the people that serve in, uh, in giving it. It really uh, uh, it, it gives people joy. If you don't get on board, you're going to be real sorry you missed out. I can't wait for the next one. 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 I can't wait for the next project. I can't wait for the next one.